Ladies and gentlemen, David Lemon here. Welcome to the Groove Lemonade number 10. This year has started off quite fast with the Lemonade sessions and the Q&As. Um, we are focusing mainly on Q&As right now until our development phase uh, slows down a little bit. At this moment, we're going full speed and, and even today I'm going to be announcing some deployment that went live to Groovecart. Uh, we are planning a lot of interesting stuff and there is going to be a great announcements uh, or great announcements, uh, quite a few announcements on the uh, on the video just in a couple of days and I'll tell you a little bit more about that. So hopefully you are here with us. Hopefully you have your questions ready. I'm going to be answering them and that's the goal of our Q&A. So make sure you pop them into the live stream questions and, and I can help you understand Groove or, or marketing a little bit better. So um, yeah, feel free to jump in anytime. Just post in your questions. Uh, you can also say hi, don't be shy. Um, and we'll go in and answer some of those. Um, I can tell you that there is a lot of interesting things happening in the background of Groove. We're not only um, working on the software, we're not only making sure that, uh, that the bugs and the, and the features that you requested um, get fixed and added on, but we are also working on, on other stuff like um, promotions, and also um, how to how to present this a little bit better, how to train people a little bit better, how to have a workflow that works, even though where uh, we are updating our software constantly, how to actually create trainings when you create a training and the next day the, the, you have to re recreate or re-record. So there's a lot of things happening. So hopefully you are uh, staying with us and going through this phase. This is like a you know, when you have a child and you have different phases uh, uh, of the development of the kid, like at the beginning is, is crying and sleeping and eating. And then after that is just just screaming and screaming and sleeping and then eating. And it's, it's like multiple different things. This is how software is also developed. And this is how a new company is developed. There's just different phases. And at this moment, we are on the development phase and the heavy development phase because we want to get as much as possible done so yeah i just did a, a quick intro until uh, people join in i can see more and more people joining in right now so if you are here welcome uh it's good to have you here this is a q a session so welcome to our q a ask your questions in the comments and please please include a q just a letter q in front of your questions so i can see when you ask me a question there is a lot of times where people are answering each other's questions so i get confused and i have to go scroll scroll through all of those comments so i can see a couple of people joining in alicia is watching us uh, it's good to have you here alicia i have imad is asking a question already i'll get to it in a moment i already have um some new users on here uh, so if this is you if uh, hi i just don't know who you are because i don't see your name or a profile image so if you would do me a favor and go over to streamyard.com for slash facebook that would allow me to actually see your name and see who you are so then when you have a question i can actually answer it directly to you there is a link somewhere on up left right anywhere um you can click and then basically it's just uh it's just a 30 seconds process of approving StreamYard to access your profile image. Once you do it, then you will show up as Alicia and as Imad and other ones that are joining in. I'll get to the questions in a moment. Uh, let me just uh, welcome everybody here. I have Helen here from Toronto. I have Anna here from Brazil. It's good to have you here, Anna. Um, I have a Facebook user again. So if this is you, uh, as well, please head over to the link somewhere which says streamyard.com forward slash Facebook and just click on it. You will need to click the approve button and then I will be able to see your name so that uh, when you're commenting, I can actually reply back to you directly. I have Jimmy as well watching us on YouTube. I have Edsel here. Hola, David. Edsel here from Mexico. It's great to have you here. Um, and yeah, I have a couple of questions already, so I believe we are ready to go and answer those. Imad uh, posted a question in the 
in the announcement of this live stream and also here in the live stream about when Groove Member will be mobile optimized. I can tell you, Matt, that this is being worked on right now within uh, within a two weeks or maybe three weeks at this moment we are doing sprints of two weeks sprint is like a, a scrum and a development phase for those of you that don't know where we say okay this feature this feature this bug this improvement need to be done within two weeks two weeks and we try to actually do that once something is done then we uh then we test it out and then we make it live so in the next two weeks i believe this is something that we are working on but i believe it will flow over to the to the third week as well so within three three weeks with testing maybe even four weeks we you are going to be having uh the group member from the from the user side so there is two parts of groove member the the dashboard side which is appearing to you when you're building out the membership and then when you publish it out then there is the user side of things uh and the user side of things will be made mobile responsive so when you're building out your membership that will not be mobile responsive and we don't have plans right now to do that but yeah it's coming and it is being worked on um, amir has a question can we host ebook or video on groove pages and groove member etc uh, yes, yes, you can. So, uh, hosting ebooks uh, can be done, or if you go to Groove Member, you click Content Files, and then you host it there. And I can just jump in and show you immediately. So, um, if you go into Groove Funnels, head over to Groove Member, click this button over here in the middle, or just Apps Groove Member here on the side. Once you're in there, you can uh, click Content files and here you can upload a file in the upper right hand side corner click upload file name it and just add it in here so this can work for all all sorts of files for ebooks for pdfs for jpegs images or of any file format and you can also upload videos when you're uploading videos in here so groove member content files this is going to be downloadable so the the thing that you got that you get once you upload something is just a url a url that shows up like this it shows up like this it's a string of of characters which automatically opens up a download screen as you can see when i click enter it opens up the download screen which is like a save file as uh, type of thing so in case you would like to have your videos downloaded you can upload them over here the max file size is 200 megabytes okay however we also have if you go and have a look at the other apps we also have groove video groove video is for actually playing uh, the videos uh, or creating a, a playable video experience so you can think about Groove Video as a player where you can upload your video or add them on from uh, from YouTube. So you can put in your YouTube and it puts it in this player. Or you can also use any M MP4 video uh, from the internet and then you can use that one. Let me just exit Skype so that I'm not uh, bothered by the meetings. And where is it? I believe this one. Yeah. Okay so um yeah so these are the three options when you want to upload your files there is um there is a difference between the paid versions of groove or paid account of groove and the free account with a paid account you have uh five gigabytes as the as the max file size so you can put in videos up till five gigabytes and upload them and just have that player play it this will not be downloadable but in case you upload it to groove member that will be downloadable so these are the two options for you to upload ebooks and videos hopefully this helps um okie doke let me just go in and then have a look at the other questions if you have any questions guys please make sure you put a queue in front of it and then just drop it into this uh to the comment section of the live stream and i'll get to it uh asap okay let's see the next question is from a facebook user when is the webinar software going to be available the webinar software had a an internal demo recently i was on that demo and i can tell you it looks really good it's a mix of StreamYard and GoToWebinar and Webinar Jam and and the 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 features that they have and they don't have. So it's going to be um, 
it's going to be more powerful, simpler to use, and it's just going to be awesome. So the webinar software uh, is going to uh, going to be one platform for automatic webinars, for live webinars, for live streaming, and um, automated live streaming, so that you can schedule a video and it just plays on Facebook and YouTube as it's going live, but it's actually not. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be Groove Webinars. The first uh, instance of the software is going to be coming out soon. Let me just see if the page was uploaded. Um, infographic. So I'm just visiting the infographic page very quickly because this is where we, uh, where we post updates. And yes, I can see over here, um, let me just share this with you. So we are here on groovefunnels.com forward slash infographic. So this is what we are looking right now. Um, you can have a look at, at this page yourself. And this is what you're going to be seeing. April 30th, Groove Webinars Evergreen. So this is where you actually had a webinar already or you play the, or you upload a video and then you can have it streamed as a webinar with a registration page with all sorts of stuff so it's going to be big uh anna is saying it will be huge excited to see webinar yeah absolutely we are going to be um to be doing things that no one else is doing and for the right reasons like for example silly things like comment management when you're watching a webinar um on some platforms there are chat pla uh, places but when you when you have a lot of people on there uh, there's a lot of things going on and you cannot focus on it so we'll have things in place that will make sure that you can see the chat you can scroll through you can you can mark things that are important you can also um on an automatic webinar you can actually modify those comments so that the people that are watching the replay they don't see all of the questions that were asked live on the comment section so uh, these are things that some platforms have some don't have if they have it this is like the pro version and you have to upgrade um we're just going to make it available for for everybody that has access to to webinar software because it is kind of needed so yeah um this page was updated so in case you would like to have a look at something then you can have a look at uh, here i'm looking forward to incoming api integrations is coming in july affiliate wallet is going to be big um group funnel mapping this is this is a big one but this is a big one this is going to uh make your jaw drop once it's once it's released but yeah um, I can see there is a lot of people right now on this on this live stream. So I'm going to open up the page that is the most um, most the newest thing that we are working on. Groove. Okay, and this is. Give me just one moment. So you probably received emails about it already. We are doing a webinar for not only you guys, but for those people that didn't upgrade yet. So in case you were promoting Groove and you were um, you were sharing your links and you probably had some signups that didn't upgrade that just stayed on the on the free account we want to help you upgrade those people so we are doing an affiliate contest with the goal of upgrading of having those people upgrade that uh, just signed up so we are going to be doing a webinar that is going to um, explain the features benefits and basically everything uh, that is needed for uh, for the people to know so this is called the no bs event and if you if you didn't see this page yet let me just show you quickly this is the the landing page that you can promote um if you go into groove jv um groove jv .com, this is the page that you see have a look at this video on here you have quick links and there is also an um, important dates calendar when we are doing the 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 actual webinar uh, which is going to be over here and when we are uh, like announcing the winners and things like that so over here you have the promotion tools you can get the link or you can just uh, 
yeah you can click this link over here and you can just copy over the no bs event link share this and this is the page that shows up the must attend group funnels no bs platform smackdown event or why the competition competition should be very scared so have a look at this read through if you if you haven't registered make sure you register there is going to be a lot of interesting things that are not yet uh not yet talked about for example uh, an exclusive sneak peek into some never before seen features hint hint um and things like that so you make sure uh, you really need to be there so make sure you reserve your seat make sure you register and then hopefully see you there um it is going to be on tomorrow, so the 10th, a live webinar, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Wednesday, 10th of March, okay? So you need to be there. Um, cool. I can see there is a lot of interesting questions coming on here. So as this is a Q&A, I just wanted to mention that you don't forget about this webinar. It's very important. It's Basically, if you already upgraded, if you had... Uh, if you bought into the Groove uh, system, you're going to be happy. If you didn't yet, then you also are going to be happy because we are explaining things and showing the future of Groove, what is coming and why you need to do it right now. So let me just jump back to the questions and have a look at some of the things that you are asking here. Um, bum, bum, bum. Okay, how can I add a header navigation to sit over my page header? image and not in a separate section above the head hero image i keep getting errors and problems when i try to do this okay let me just quickly show you so this is going to be a difference between a block and an element so let me just demonstrate this quickly if we go into one of these um, demo pages okay perfect so i'm going to delete this and i'm going to be pulling out um, not a header navigation but I want to use just header over here something like this for example so this is now my header this is like the hero image or a cover as some uh, some platforms call it and I'm pretty sure what you're asking is you would like to add a navigation over here to be a part of the cover or, of our, or a header uh, section of your page. So what you would do normally with normal builds is you would go onto the header nav bars and you would just use a navigation bar. What happens in this case is that the block is put on top of the other block. So it's not, it's not within the block. So over here, it's going to be two separate sections and you probably don't want that. There is a way around it by just using an element. If you come into the elements tab and if you scroll down almost all the way, you can see there are there are elements called the navigation bars. And if you pull these out on your canvas, you can have navigation bars that show up on here as well. There are uh, different versions of these navigation bars and there are different ways of styling them uh, yourself. So if you pull things out in different containers like this, then it's going to show up uh, that way. If you if you create your own custom pages, let me just show you with an empty block. There are going to be different ways that it shows up, but these are the elements that you can use in order to achieve that uh, that type of thing. Um, what you could also do is maybe put in a container over here, and then you can drag this this element into that container itself so that it it shows up differently as well so it shows up a, a little bit wider on here on this section there is a, um, a max width setup so that the that it says like don't go longer than what we set up on here so if you don't want this max width you can put in a container which will have its own settings and then it will display like that so once you have it you can just remove the background of it. So let's just click in here. Let's just remove the background. Bam. Let's just remove the background of this section as well. Bam. And let's just put in the text to be white. Okay. And then you can select your logo on here, which is going to be probably um, a brighter logo. Let's just find something that is white. Maybe this.
okay and it's it's pretty big uh you can resize it also in the images or you can come over here into into sizing relative to parent and then you can you can style it yourself um and then you can create these headers which are built into the cover image or the cover section of your page or a or a header section of the page but this is the difference between elements and blocks blocks will come on top and you cannot have the same kind of background and the feel but if you use elements which are which are over here then you can put them inside the container within the blocks that you already have on your page so hopefully that helps um let's have a look okay hi david had to take a break and glad to be back and learning it's it's good to have you here back um there is probably a couple of announcements that you missed there is kind of a uh, couple of changes that were added on but uh, yeah there is always learning needed with the software that is developed uh, all the time like our, ours is um, when i upload an iphone video to groove member and switch to full screen it cuts off half of the video is that the bug or am i doing something wrong i don't know okay so I have no idea. I would highly suggest you um, you raise a, a bug request or, or just a bug report. And uh, the way you do that is you come over to the feedback at groovefunnels.com. And if you mention, you, you mentioned Groove Video, I believe, if you upload something to Groove Video. So head over to Groove Video Bugs and then you upload uh, upload your your bug report over here. I would not be able to assist without actually seeing the changes and seeing how it looks in the video. So if you actually uploaded your video, you can just put in the video link on here. Or my suggestion would be, and this is the best thing that you could do, is just download Loom Loom.com L O O M, which is going to allow you to record your screen. You don't have to talk or anything you can just click through and show what happens on your on your page so that the uh, devs can actually understand what the issue may be so i would appreciate if you could do that just report it as a groove video bug on here and then we can have a look into it okie doke let's just go on um is groove having any issues with upgrade page i've been trying to upgrade since yesterday and keeps giving me an error message unable to process your transaction i'm not quite sure but i've seen um i've seen donna over here i got your post we are working on seeing what i'm going i'm going to assume that donna answered that question over here with problems with grooves i'm not going to give my guesstimate because i don't know uh but if donna is here she will probably be faster in in looking into it while i'm answering others questions so if this was not a question related to me feel free to to send me a per private message on facebook and then i can have a look uh, once we're done with this live stream okay having a webmail email address do we have to also get an email server like mailchimp or can we just connect directly to groove website you have a webmail that is for your inboxing for receiving and sending out emails to to maybe one two three four just a couple of people but what mailchimp and groove mail and other platforms do are for mass emails like you have one account which is not for receiving emails but it's for sending mass emails to a big list of of contacts so um you probably need to have both if you would like to do internet marketing or, or just business online you need to have a platform that sends out mass emails that sends out kind of newsletters and marketing type promotion emails and things like that and these are mailchimp aweber groove uh, groove mail active campaign and so on but you need to have also your branded email on the side maybe you are a sh uh, or a or a shop maybe you have a shop or you are selling digital products or something like that so you may want to have support at your domain.com or info at your domain.com or something like that so you probably want to have both to work together so webmail is great it's an inbox and a mailchimp and other email marketing software is also good they work hand in hand in order to to help you achieve um 
great customer satisfaction, customer service, and uh, sales, and things like that. Uh, Polo is here. Hi, David. Once again, thanks. Excellent work. By importing a product from AliExpress to my Groovecard store, I noticed the e-packet is no more available. Do you have any idea why? I don't know, Polo, but I know that we have updated our AliExpress uh, Chrome extension, and I'm doing a... I actually recorded that video. I just need to upload it um, as soon as this... Uh, live stream is done. I'm going to be uploading an announcement video for Groove Cart. We have added on a couple of things. We have improved some, and one of those things is the Ali Connect uh, Chrome extension. So, what my suggestion is: go into your Chrome extensions, delete Ali Connect, go into Groove Cart, click Download Chrome extension, and just re-download the new one uh, because we had to change some things, and uh, this could be an issue. I don't know if. 100% that is the issue, but this would be uh, the first step that I would suggest you to, to do just to check if uh, if this fixes it, okay? If not, please uh, raise a ticket with a support team, but I'm pretty sure and pretty confident that this will, this will solve it. Um, I love what you guys are doing. So excited. Thank you very much. Yeah, we are doing a lot of exciting things, and this year is going to be just like huge not only for us as a company but for our users for for everybody that will still join uh because um if you joined us earlier you kind of went on a journey with us by developing the software kind of finding the bugs reporting them and things like that but those new people that are going to be joining in soon um are not going to be going through that journey but they will need to have uh higher fees of paying either monthly fee or a, or a much much larger um lifetime price than what you are currently having so um i'm excited for everybody that that joined in on this lifetime deal there were a couple of naysayers that i personally saw um uh, in also different groups and also in our group that are saying the groove is not good but i don't think they're seeing the picture of the future they are they're they're just seeing what what it is in front of them right now uh, but at this moment right now there's not much like the majority of our apps and the and the features are not being added yet but it just keeps being added slowly so some win some lose those people definitely lose if they don't want to stay with us I just created a domain. It's on Groove Server. It worked, but uh, it worked out quickly. But it does doesn't save. It's sec okay. It doesn't say it's secure. It's not safe. Why is that? Um, so the domain propagation takes couple of uh, couple of minutes, sometimes hours. There's a there's a user that reported that after two days it came on as secured, but. Um, we are working on right now with one of the co-founders, uh, Matt Seralta, looking at in looking into it personally. He is uh, in contact with the companies that will get us extra layers of security so that you can use um, use Groove not only for for things that um, that you do on Groove, but also to connect your existing uh, websites and funnels that you may have somewhere else to Groove and still have SSL certificates. So um, it, it is actually quite interesting what we're working on. This is not being provided by any company right now out there on the planet. And this has been uh, this has been told by our founders. That is just like, like it, it's crazy. So uh, this is this is still um, work in progress, the, the, the DNS management thing. So I would suggest, I don't know your name. It says your brand's need. Uh, needs uh, feel free to reach out to support there are support team members that have access to domains that can uh, look into it and then that can assist immediately if something is, is not showing up as secured yet but yeah now that we have our domain management within the company we can assist with these kind of issues so feel free to reach out to support and they can look into it for you um Hopefully we can have a live chat on automated webinar that was pre-recorded so we can have someone respond to chat on a webinar that was pre-recorded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I believe Donna answered that one. You will. <laughs> um, why can I not use all the tools on the same custom domain? Why are there separate tools not working together? 
we are working on that. Uh, Chris Palmer SEO. I believe you are looking into SEO and you want to have everything on the same domain. Um, it is. It is working right now on the same domain. You can use it. It's a bit complex uh, right now. We are working on making it easier and making it much more secure. So a lot of interesting things are coming. Uh, blog. Blog is going to be coming out within the next couple of weeks. Um, a cart with pages. Both of these can be already uh, connected, except blog. Blog blog cannot. There will be videos uh, once the new publishing features come out. At this moment, we have infrastructure. We are doing just updates and, uh, and uh, the things, how are handled in the backend uh, system. So once that is done, I'm going to be doing proper training on how to use um groove cart with groove pages and groove blog with groove pages and everything with groove pages and groove cart and so on um do you know when our websites hosted groove with uh okay yeah so sarah um for you as well please reach out to support team our support team can access that and have a look for you um Justin Willard, where can we see a list of all the bonuses that we received joining when joining Platinum? I joined la mid last year, uh, so there were so many bonuses I can't remember them all. Uh, Justin, there is a there is a, a post in the support. So in case you go to support dot, and let me just remove this. <laughs> so if you go to support dot groovedigital.com and you type in bonuses. Um, what are free bonuses offered with the launch? So everybody that joined uh, before or during the Groovathon launch got these bonuses on here. You uh, can look through through the list on here. So lifetime Usain account, lifetime 22 apps, lifetime Groovecart account, lifetime free Slingly account, free Review Trust, free Chatmatic account, FTC Guardian, you should have received all of those emails in your inbox. Please also have a look at the at the spam folders and, uh, and the junk folders. Uh, some some platforms call it junk, but yeah, there is the the from name and also the from email in each of these, so you can look into it. Search your um, inbox, and you can find uh, find these emails from the from the companies that send those out. Um, Okie dokie. Let's see. Naveen. Hi, David. I'm not able to work with a Z-index, especially on one container over another block. Can you please demonstrate? OK, let's have a look. Um, I will try. Uh, so you said one container over a block. So well, let's see. I need to find a container. Something like this will work. OK, so now I have two things on my canvas, um, or actually two blocks on my canvas. One is this, this one over here, and then this is the second one. I believe what uh, Naveen is trying to do is select a container and drag it out on top of this one. So let's just see how that is done. Uh, or if it can be done. So if we click on the click on the container and we can make sure that the container has been selected over here in the upper right hand side corner, we can go to spacing. I'll remove the banner just for a moment. We can go to spacing and we can set up negative margin so that we pull up the actual uh, container. In some cases, the container will not show up on the top. So you may need to adjust the Z index. The Z index is adjusted over here in the layout, and it says Z index. Okay. So if you have something like this, which is 1, and then you have this, uh, this container, for example, or let's just say the block, with a Z index of... Oh, this is on auto uh, with a with a Z index higher. For example, let's just use this this button. All right, layout a Z index is two. You can see now that the button is going on top of the. Mm, let me just move it to the left here. Now the button is going on top of the the container on here. I'll just go back in the background. 
How, uh, and that is happening because the Z index of this container is smaller than the Z index of the bottom. So that's what the Z index does. It decides what comes on top and what goes on the bottom. So at this moment, the Z index of this container is one. And we can have a look here. It just says one. The Z index of this button is two. And this is why the button is on top. Look what happens if we click on, the, on this container and make sure that the Z index is three over here nothing nothing happened sometimes it it needs to be forced so in these cases you can put three exclamation mark important okay and that also didn't work let's just have a look why three important Yeah, that should that should have moved. It may be a bug though, but on here it moved to the number two. So let's see. This has two. Let's see what what happens if we just put in zero, okay, or nothing, and it moves back. But if we put two, then it moves up. So not quite sure what the issue is on here so i that i'll need to double check i wanted to be smart and i was like yeah this is how you do it but i believe this may be a bug so we'll need to look into this let's just try to do something else let's just move this up with a negative margin okay and the layout over here i want to make 3 so this over here is 2 so the 3 should potentially be on top of it but it's not showing up as three um yeah it should be like this three important or four important um the the exclamation mark important is kind of an override or like forcing things but for some reason it just doesn't work in this case so i'll need to double check with the devs there may be something that needs to be adjusted so um unfortunately i cannot tell you uh what could be causing it most probably something in the background of the of the software so we'll need to look into it um but yeah but that's how the z index works the higher the number the the higher it should be on the canvas it's like a layers the num the the thing with a with a z index of one will be below the thing with a z index of two so um hopefully helps explain how the z index work but this may be a bug so we'll need to look into it um naveen if you could i would appreciate if you could uh send an exact scenario of of what you were trying to achieve and just record a short loom video about it and then open a support ticket our dev team can look into it for you uh new rule is asking hi david can i connect a subdomain or add on a domain for a membership site and uh, not yet for example my domain is neural.com and my membership site resides under member.neural.com or neural.com for that member so a group member and group blog don't yet have custom domain capability but that is being developed this is being worked on with a new publishing infrastructure that we have in place is group mail working now group mail is working group mail is not sending out emails yet for the time being, there is a rollout schedule that you can visit. It's groovefunnels.com forward slash infographic. And it says here that the Groove Mail sending capability will be um, re released on May 1st. Okay, let's just see the next question. Cool. Diane, I have not begun Groove uh, yet with anything. Can I begin creating a funnel? How about uploading images, videos, worksheets, then housing platform for a membership site? I want to house uh, my course in a membership site. Ready? Yes. Yes. So that's Groove member and it's ready. You can use it already. When do you think Groove would be ready to set things up? You can already set things up in Groove, Diane. It just depends what features do you need. If you would like to have um, like calendar booking uh features 
Groove calendar is not yet ready, but have a look at the at the groovefunnels.com forward slash infographic. Um, this is where our rollout schedule is. It's kind of a roadmap of how things are going, uh, going to be developed and when is what coming out. Have a look at it. It's going to help you understand what is already out and what is still coming. While we are working for, waiting for GrooveMail to be ready, I decided to use my Averber account. What do you think about uh, the debate of a request name, first name, and last name, or no name with an autoresponder? Um, so I believe with Averber, Averber, you have to ask for a name at this moment. In case you go with a route of not asking for a name, I don't think that is working. At this moment, the integration needs to have a name. My suggestion is always ask for the name and always ask for the email. People say that there will be, it's going to lower the conversions, but you don't want more conversions. You don't want to pay more for your for your email responder or your email marketing for just so that you, you can say, I have a lot of people on my list. You want to have the people that really want to have the product that really are confident uh, in, in giving their names and, and hearing back from you. You don't want to, to ask only the email just because it will convert higher. You want to have quality over quantity. That's my opinion. That's my approach. And this is what I always preach. Um, if I can have 10 high quality clients or high quality leads other than um, 10,000 inactive and they will not even open the, 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 the emails I send them, it's much better to have 10 because you're, you're actually... Um, making sure that when you send out an email, those will be open. Once, otherwise, when you send out an email, they will not be open just because you have a higher number of contacts. So my suggestion is always have quality over quantity. And I would and I will always ask for the name because I want to have personalized communication with them. Like, hey, Michael, um, I saw you were interested in da 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 or hey julie or hey diane or hey something like that because it's more personal more um i don't know it's just more customized and it i feel that this this gives an extra touch um other than people are saying hey there it's like you know it's being sent out to millions of people but that's just my preference where do you post your schedule for these live meetings? There is a schedule, well, basically, there is a schedule Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is noon Eastern, uh, which is noon Eastern Standard Time, sorry, 6 p.m. Central European Time. Um, it is the same time every time, uh, 6 p.m. Central European Time, 12 p.m. or noon Eastern Standard Time, Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, that's basically it. There is uh, there is a schedule where uh, I schedule the live stream a day in advance so that you can uh, you can have a look. You can uh, you can put a reminder for yourself as well. If you uh, the easiest is if you just subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just type in Groove Digital. You subscribe to it and you click that alert. Um, button whenever we schedule a live stream or, or we have a video out there you're going to get a notified by youtube itself um you said it's complex to use cart members with pages on the same custom domain so it's done with dns forwarding uh no it's not using dns forwarding it's it's something else um once we have those uh, the extra dns management capabilities it is going to be uh, easier for me to demonstrate basically just uses c name a name records uh, but but yeah it's going to be handled pretty simply within the dashboard so uh, there's no forwarding needed um, i'm trying to host my website using groovefunnels i have also changed dns name servers on my domain provider and also need to uh, also added a record C name on group page, but still my site is not online. Did you publish your page? Whenever you connect your domain and you chose that domain, you need to publish it so that it actually pushes those C name records in the in the DNS management system. So maybe you're just missing missing the publish button. If not, Manu, please reach out to support team. They can actually look into your DNS records and and they can assist you now with this uh, new feature that we have. Um, 
how will the agency level work? Will we be able to manage other Groove accounts as a service and charge them monthly, or is it, or will it be one of code we provide to copy our proven funnel and get paid an affiliate or both? Many, I don't know. There are uh, there are still talks about how the agency feature will work because we cannot really compare ourselves with any other platform right now that provides agency features because by the time um, agency feature comes out, it needs to, it will do much more than any other platform can. We need to, we need to plan this out properly at it. And this moment at the, sorry, <laughs> I'm stumbling on my words at this moment, we don't have a plan yet for, uh, agency, or maybe we have a plan, but we don't, uh, or we, they didn't share it with, with me. At this moment, uh, we are still working heavily on adding on features into into Groove. And when I say features, I mean like Groove Pipe wasn't a thing a couple of months ago. And now we have to also put in scope something on how Groove Pipe will work with the agency. The funnel mapping. The funnel mapping is a big feature. We also need to put this inside the agency um agency feature and how that will work at this moment we are looking to first develop our own core apps first and then we can we can provide um some agency uh, management options because at this moment there is a lot of a lot of a lot of cog wheels that 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 need to be moving before the actual agency feature is out and and running so um there is a lot of moving parts to it, so I, I don't know how it will work. First, we were saying, like, if you have a look at Kartra Agency, this is how Groove Groove Pages or Groove Funnels Agency feature will be working. But it's not the case anymore because we are offering so much more right now than Kartra. Like, for example, how will the Groove Cart management work with agency? Like things like that are not in Kartra yet so we'll need to just completely move away from that idea and then redo something on our side should we change the name service of the site we had on Cloudflare to Groove now if you have something on Cloudflare don't change it it's not necessary um, at a later stage where you will have a lot of um, blog and membership and things like that then you can change it is just a couple of clicks um, however, at this moment, I wouldn't suggest changing it while we're still working on this extra security level and also uh, the ease of handling the domains and things like that. So at this moment, if you already have something existing where you already published your sites and things like that, there is no need to move them to Groove right now. If you are starting from scratch, you have a new domain, you want to connect it to Groove and start working with app, with the pages and membership and things like that. Um, then I suggest you to to use Groove uh, as the publishing platform of it, like the the DNS management system of it. But at this moment, in case you have something on Cloudflare, I don't. There is really no need to move move away from it right now. I'm working on my Groove cart, and I can't seem to get my products loaded onto their respective pages. For example, adding men's categories would show up on all pages. Adding men's categories would show up on all pages. Um, how <laughs> Rebecca, there must be something that you're missing. Um, I don't know what you could you clicked or you didn't click that this happens. So feel free to record a loom video and send it to me, either make it as a post in the group or or just send it to me privately. But at this moment, it's very hard to help with tech in case I don't see it. And for this is for everybody. In case you're asking for support or from or help from somebody, just just try to explain it as much detail as possible. Try to show it because the software and managing the software is a visual thing. And if we don't see the step by step of how you did something, so that you have uh, you have an outcome we cannot really help you. So this is the case with Rebecca as well. Please record a Loom video or, or just explain it in screenshots of something, uh, how you did it, so that I can understand. I would appreciate it. Um, is there somewhere that all Groove updates are posted as they come out? Um, yes, we have it on our blog. We are also working on, let me just show you this one first. And this was this is going to be coming out in the next couple of couple of days so I didn't want to talk about it but 
why not? Okay. Give me a moment until I find it. I will share my screen after it. Uh, after I found it, let me see. Where is it? Where is it? Um, just a second. I'm trying to show you something interesting. There we go. So, um, we are now in in Zeppelin, and this is the this is the platform that the design team um, uses for sharing the their creations with us. We will have a notifications uh, panel, and this is this is how the new. Uh, this is how the new dashboard layout will look like. But before we do this sidebar over here, we are going to be adding notifications. This is going to be a nice little bell icon in the top of the of the of the screen in Groove. Also, uh, when you are out in your Groove funnels, we will have a notification bell icon over here, where when you click it, you will be able to see like there was a product update for Groove Pages or Groove Webinar, or Groove Cell, and, and the different dates and things like that. Um, you can also mark it as read, so basically, um, it will it will notify you so that you know what came out live. Okay, this is a system that we are working on, and this is how it's going to show up while you're working something. You click the spell icon. This is how it's going to to pop up if you click the view all then this is going to be the view all screen you are also going to be able to filter through different apps like you click this uh, this filter drop down menu and you choose the app that you would like to learn more about and when the updates were 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 done and things like that when and then once you click the apply button then it automatically updates on here and we have one more over here so this is the filters this is how the filters are going to be working um, so yeah, that's coming to the app within the next couple of days or maybe weeks. Uh, I know that this is where you work now right now. However, at this moment, in case you go to Groove Blog or GrooveFunnels.com forward slash blog, this is where we have our change log, and we are also going to be continuing updating the change log because it's good for SEO. Um, and here you can see feature updates, Groove member change log. If you click on the change log, then you can see the different updates that were that were added. I started uh, as I manage these, and whenever I put out something in the in the Facebook group, whenever I put out something in the uh, yeah any kind of announcement about our apps, they are being added on here with the videos. If there is a video with on it. Um, everything is going to be coming here. So in case you go to groovefunnels.com forward slash blog, you can also click on a category, which is feature announcements or feature updates, sorry, feature updates. And this is where you see Groove member change log, Groove sale change log, Groove video, Groove pages, Groove blog, and so on and so on. Whenever we have new templates, new templates are also going to be announced on here. And yeah, so this is what is in plan but i'm looking forward to that notification because that will make everything easier to track at this moment in case you are not very active in the facebook group or if you didn't check this manually you may miss some of the new features but with the notification bell it is going to allow everybody to be on top of things um Okay, I'm building landing pages to uh, to sell. How do I move the sites to a new host site to the customer? Uh, can you so the customer can use it off Groove Funnels? Diane, you can create a share link. So let me just show you. Whenever you are in your in your design or in your site, you go over here to the upper right hand side corner. You click this uh, hamburger menu and click share site. From this, you can create a share link. Just click the add button and you have now a link, which if somebody imports or if somebody clicks, the, the system starts importing that page uh, into their into the account. If they are not, let have a look at this. Oops, wrong button. I just wanted to copy. If they're not a GrooveFunnels user yet, okay, here is what happens. The customer is redirected over to a login page where they are offer, 
offered also a sign up button if they sign up this is the fun part they sign up and your affiliate id is going to be on here so they can sign up for a free account and then once they sign up they need to just re-click this i uh, this button this link that you sent them and then they will be uh, receiving the share uh the share link the share site however when they sign up your affiliate your affiliate uh, link is built into that share link so you don't have to worry about losing a sign up to somebody else um will there ever be folders inside the image library i don't know most probably ever is a very uh very uh, broad <laughs> time frame um most probably it will be at this moment this is not the top priority task we are having a bit more uh, pressing issues with uh with how the um, the responsiveness is managed there are some bugs with pop-ups and things like that which needs to be fixed first images put to put in folders this is not a feature that is a super high priority right now so this is why it's not implemented yet but i'm pretty sure that it is going to come yeah um doo -doo -doo. let's see other questions when will Groove Member Groove Video be ready to get payments for courses and link up with Groove Mail? This is already done. So you can create a Groove. It's a Groove Cell. You missed out Groove Cell. Groove Cell is the actual platform that you use to create uh, payments and payment links and set up your products. Once you set up your product, then you can create everything that you want. So you can you can have a customer that purchases a product from you that they get added into Groove Member, where you have Groove videos in there uh, to, to watch courses, and you can also hook it up with Groove Mail automatically, which is already done. If you're looking for a step-by-step -step process, maybe have a look at the Imperfect Action Challenge. This is something that we did um, a couple of months ago. If you go onto YouTube or just the Groove Digital YouTube channel, you can type in Imperfect Action challenge and you can see immediately module one two three four five um this is where i go go over everything that you need to know basically how to create a product or i give you a product so i give you a product i um show you how to set it up i show you how to set up the pages i show you how to set up the membership i show you how to actually put everything together with mail and things like that so this is the group the imperfect action challenge module number one two three four five okay i also teach you how to send traffic to that uh to that business to that funnel once you set up everything so yeah it's it's pretty interesting if you would like you can also visit our blog we added on uh, a little bit extra information like for example in the module number five we wrote out some of these things we added on the video and we also uh, wrote about each and everything explained it a little bit more in depth of how to work with it so uh, yeah there's a lot of things that you can do if you uh, if you want you can have a look at the blog and then learn through this one just have a look at how um how it is explained we have for each and every one of the modules um the explanation of of how to go through everything so um, imperfect action challenge is something that i would suggest you to look into so that you can you can learn how to connect everything together um if for now i use links with a groove subdomains for my site portal membership etc can i later change those links uh, to be under my domain yes yeah okay cool perfect david your suggestion about the best between simple and double option in collect sorry uh, your suggestion about the best between simple and double option in collecting okay I, I i believe you're talking about double opt-in so uh one step opt-in is for those of you that may not know one step opt-in is you ask a customer to fill out their name and email and then you send them over to the thank you page Okay, the two-step opt-in is you ask them for the name and email. Once you, they fill this out, they need to go and wait for the email to confirm that they want to receive your emails, and then they are redirected over to the thank you page. My suggestion is always do double. 
okay there are pros and cons of it i live in europe and eu laws for this uh opt-ins and and using somebody else's information is very strict so even if you don't want to do it if you are marketing from europe or to people in europe you need to have a double opt-in okay otherwise you could get into trouble with with the law with some legal issues and you don't want that so I personally will always do it because I, as I mentioned earlier, quality over quantity. I always want to send emails to those people that want to, to receive my emails. I don't want, there are, there are plugins and tools out there that everybody who receives, uh, everybody that, that comes to your page, you can get their email automatically with, through some backend um, systems. I don't want that. I don't want to send out emails to everybody that visits my page. Um, there are systems. I don't know them. I'm not, I'm not familiar with them to do this. But I really want customers to actually say, yes, I want to receive your emails because those are the people that I want to talk to. Those are the people that I want to communicate to. And those are the people that will purchase from me. Those people that just landed on my page by mistake will probably not purchase from me and will probably not want to listen to me again and again when I send them emails. So my suggestion is, quality over quantity there are people with different mindsets people that that go quantity over quality and then they go and like hope like 50 percent or 20 or 30 or 40 percent uh or even two percent will convert which is which is sometimes very very um uh, unfortunate that they do this um and and also your IP and, and your sending capability is harmed that way. You send out 10,000 emails and only 5% of those people that received your emails even opened that. The open rate is, is just bad. The, the company that you're using for sending out emails is not going to be happy with you because you're sending emails to the users that don't want to listen to you don't want to hear from you so it's it's again a, like a bad score in deliverability most probably the inboxes uh, of those users will just start marking you your emails as spam at a later point and it's just not something that you would like quality over quantity if you listen to me and this is how how life should be have great things in life and don't have a lot of things in life have great things in life and Email subscribers is the same thing. Customers, like you probably want 10 great customers that are listening to you, that like you, know, know like, and trust you, and, and not thousands of customers that just like in there just to be there. So yeah, quality over quantity. If I find a page template I like, um, say for example, this preview, which I cannot see because this is just a preview generated from your site. How do I see if there are other pages that relate to this? So other page templates in the funnel. So we have different uh, templates. Um, and some of the templates are single page templates. Like, for example, if you click pages and you click the plus, there are single page templates. Over here in the, in the left corner, you can see it says single pages. There are single page templates like this one that don't have any any other extra pages related to those sometimes people just want to have a landing page and they just want to send people over to somewhere else those in those cases these kind of pages are good if you scroll down you can also see that there are there are pages for example this digital marketing opt-in the di digital marketing opt-in has an upsell page and also has another version of the opt-in page and most probably has somewhere uh, a thank you page as well and things like that so for example this feminine wealth opt-in there's a vsl over here there's an oto there's a down sell there's a confirmation page so some templates within the single page templates have multiple options we are working on on merging those and and like having you to click on one of these designs and it will uh, it will offer you like do you want the uh, the opt-in page or do you want to oto do you want a downsell page do you want a confirmation page and so on um some templates like for example this cosmetics page or com cosmetics template they don't have any extra add-on uh add-on templates so you'll just need to work with with what we have on here or you can always recreate some other 
designs. For example, if you use the digital marketing opt-in and you have an upsell and you want to have an upsell, then you can just take the feminine wealth OTO page and use this as an upsell. Just change over the colors, change over the, the logo, change over the, the styling. If this one has kind of a, a rounded style on the buttons, just add that rounded style on this template as well. Just modify it a little bit and then you're done. Um, so we also have we also have full page templates or full website templates and full full funnel templates in case you come to funnels and if you click the plus you can click over here to funnels as well and this will import multi-page uh funnels so sales booking funnel simple booking medcare landing page a groove book funnel uh, template so these are all multi-page funnels so you can use that one as well um it just depends what you are trying to create but in case you found a template that doesn't have any extra pages then you can just find a find a page with a functionality that you want like for example an upsell or a thank you page or something and just modify it to match the style when will we be able to translate the checkout page to languages other than english um I don't know i don't have information about that uh but translations are not something that we are working on right now we are uh putting in the functionalities first when we have the functionalities we are going to be looking into translations not only of our apps but uh, but other features like the checkout pages as well so at this moment i cannot tell you an a date or an estimate because i don't know it um i'm pretty confident that we are first trying to put in the te the technology in place um so then we have something to, to translate at this moment um we're just not there yet to be able to translate and just say yeah this is how it's going to stay so once we translate it it's going to be working nicely for the future i like the checkout for uh, for example um if i if we would have translated the checkout the next couple of days we are going to be uh adding on a new feature completely revamping the checkout page which is which is going to be more custom and allow you to customize it as you want so um that will basically need to be completely retranslated -trans on on multiple different languages so this is why we're not translating things at this moment because there are so many changes coming to our apps right now I have ConvertKit. I want to capture emails on my Groove landing page, but I'm stuck. I downloaded Zapier, but I'm struggling to use integrations to connect the form Groove form to ConvertKit. Is there an easy way? I'm not very good at tech. Uh, Amy, my suggestion would be just to look into a training. Like uh, I did a training on Zapier, and it is a uh, it is explaining how to connect Zap uh, a form to Zapier, which connects to to gmail you can do the same thing where it says groove pages zapier or zapier as some people call it here is my video it is a one hour long video with full timestamps below it so you can see if you go below the video in the description you can see step one step two step three step four and so on if you want you can look through those uh, through these timestamps if you want you can also have a look at others that created like um, here is uh, AI profits. Here is 30 minute marketing. Here is uh, Groove user next step secrets. All of these people are teaching the same thing: how to connect Groove with Zapier. Um, they will have probably different connections, but it just works the same way. Here, there is a customer that connected Groove pages to SendFox, which is also a very similar um, email marketing platform, like uh like convert kit which is kind of not similar but convert kit is much better but yeah if you watch any of these trainings you'll understand how to work with us with the tools and then once you're in zapier just select convert kit and then you set it up through these videos um that's my suggestion there's no more um like tech things that you would need to know it's pretty simple you go into integration create a zapier integration create a form set up that zapier integration and then you go into zapier you test out your form zapier receives the information that you sent it and then you can just set up convert it that's basically it it may be complicated now as i said it but that's why i suggest you to uh, to to watch a step-by-step -step tutorial 
Has Groove Brazil already launched? If yes, is there an affiliate link to promote it? Uh, Zuleika, you you would need to go and um, and have an account with Groove Brazil. So in case you go to GrooveFunnels.com.br, this is a Brazilian um, version of of. Groove funnels, and here you would need to either register or, um, or basically you can you can get in here in order to to promote them. At this moment, my suggestion would be to reach out to support um, in order to to get your affiliate link if you would like to promote the Brazilian version of of Groove funnels, but it's completely different. These are the two uh, the two people that are. That are like in charge of Groove uh, Groove Funnels Brazil, Rodrigo and Fernando. They are they are the leaders and um, like Brazilian market is so different. They just require different um, banking policies, completely different systems. And we had to do another uh, like a clone of Groove Funnels, but modified specifically to 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 the Brazilian market. And that's why. Um, the Groove Funnels Brazil affiliate link is not available within our platform, within our promo tools. It's just completely different, completely different checkout process and things like that. So here they have uh, they have their support. I believe one of these links. Uh, they have their support. Please feel free to reach out to them, and you can uh, you can ask them directly. Um, hi, David. Is it possible that there is a bug on the third? device tablet yeah uh this is the only one that does not change with the other devices the other devices work great there are some settings that that don't really work on that horizontal tablet device this is a this has been reported and our devs are working on it they they are aware of it so at this moment um there's just a, a waiting period until that gets fixed but set up everything else and set up as much as you can the horizontal tablet and then once the, the fix is done, I'm pretty sure you'll just need to um, modify it a little bit so that it, it stays. At this moment, the, the issue for me is unknown, and I cannot tell you what causes it, but I, I can tell you that it is, it, is, it is a familiar thing for our devs, and they are working on it. Polo is asking uh, when new templates are going to be released. At this moment, um, the... The designers are working on new templates for Groove Blog, um, new templates for Groove Webinar, new funnels for Groove Webinar. So we're preparing for the for the for the next uh, apps at this moment. So with the next week, two maybe, there are no go not going to be new templates for Groove Pages. There's quite a lot of new templates for Groove Pages that you could use also blocks. Uh, so I believe we covered m the majority of of things we are always going to be adding on more and more but at this moment we need to focus on creating systems that once our new uh platforms like groove webinar come out uh that we have the nice templates and uh and the funnels so that people can use immediately with the groove webinar so at this moment we are just uh working on different things for example one of our designers is is going in and this will probably make you happy um one of our designers is going in, and in the Elements tab, you know that you have these devices over here. When you pull them out, they're just like black and white, and it's just not going, not looking nice. One of our designers went out and then and then um, designed and created these, but to be a real life, uh, real life devices. Like for example, a phone. At this moment, it's like. A drawn it's a cartoon phone but um, one of our designers went out and created a real life mock-ups that uh, that our devs will need to implement so that so this is how they work that when you go in you can select the different styles but um, and then put in the image that will be displayed in there um, but it just still looks ugly and e like not real and now we are doing uh, for example these things um so yeah that's one of our designers that is uh, that is working on those we have a lot of these different tasks which are not only designing the templates so at this moment 
uh, we are working on a lot of new and cool features that will allow you to to use Groove on another level. So yeah. What should we uh, use in memberships for video? Embed a Groove video or files from content files? If you would like to play the video, if you would like to have the video be watchable, then you only can use Groove video, video embedded on the membership. If you would like to have, for example, I don't know in what scenario that would be, but probably if you want to have um, some videos that your for example a logo intros or something like that that you would like to give your uh your customers to download this is a video file but you can give them to download they don't necessarily need to watch it they can just click on it and download it in those cases then you can use files uh, files in groove member but if you want the video to be playable only use groove video in case you want your customers to download the video then use the actual um like content files uh, as an as an upload. Um, brum, 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 brum. Lewis, how to connect the form to GrooveMail and gather emails using the opt-in template? Uh, we don't have an integration right now for the for the forms section in, uh, in Groove Pages between Groove Pages and Groove Mail. That is something that is going to be coming within the next sprint. So by the The sprint is in two weeks. We are finishing up with this. So by the 29th, we should have integration between the two uh, the two platforms, which will allow you to set up a, a form in Groove Mail and then connect it to your design in Groove Pages. At this moment, that is not available yet. You can create a form in Groove Mail and embed it onto your page, but at this moment, it's it's not working with a, with an inbuilt form um, creation features in Groove Pages. Lately, last month, I've been having trouble updating my pages in group pages. So the changes that I make don't show up in the browser, even if you delete the cookies. Is that fixed? Um, I don't know what kind of issues you were having, but this needs to be looked into. Feel free to, or not feel free, please reach out to support so they can look into this one for you. Because I don't think that this was an issue in the in the system it may have something to do with some extra code on the pages or i really don't know but this is why you would need to reach out to to the support so they can look into your pages and then they can pinpoint the problem and assist you that way so yeah i i wouldn't be able to i wouldn't be able to assist on this one, unfortunately what's the best way to promote a webinar and is zoom the best option for now a uh, zoom is an option it's not an only option. Um, I personally don't like Zoom when I went on their pages and I wanted to set up an account. I just got lost. There's so many different options. I don't even know what I'm purchasing. I'm pretty confident in my tech abilities. But at this moment, the best way to promote a webinar is uh, is just with your with your current email subscribers. Like if if somebody is interested in something that you have to talk about on a webinar, that will be your uh, email subscribers. Or reach out to some partners and try to uh, cross promote. Like you uh, you find a person with an audience and you get them to invite you to to create a webinar for their audience and and that way, like kind of JV partner type of thing. Um, Promoting a webinar itself, we are doing it right now, and we are doing it with our own customers, customer base. Like we send out an email to our customer base. We asked our affiliates as well to promote it. So you can do something similar. Have a look at what we are doing right now on a Groove JV. We invited our affiliates to promote that webinar that is going to be uh, happening. Uh, let me see tomorrow <laughs> yeah i wasn't i wasn't sure about what day it is uh it's going to be happening tomorrow so have a look at groovejv.com and how we do it uh so you may you may get some ideas about it david what's the link for the imperfect action challenge just google it or find it on youtube or just type in groovefunnels.com for slash blog you can also find more in-depth explanation in the uh in different blog posts just 
type in imperfect action challenge anywhere really um what will be the best to sell my services groove cart or groove funnels so services are most probably the best to sell in a funnel type of way and this is what i would do uh, when you're selling services my suggestion is don't do like just for scaling purposes don't do uh, application funnels application funnels are like uh, an opt-in form like name and put in your name and email you may get something in return like a downloadable freebie where you invite people to fill out a book a calendar and then uh, you get them to to book there and da 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 which is which is okay for some businesses but if you can automate it a little bit like uh, if you have an option to create different packages and most services have my suggestion is do this you either create a very very good uh, lead magnet to to attract customers so that they fill out the the name and email and then they go on to the next page where you are offering your services very important create a couple of different packages like basic package um medium package and the pro package i don't know just an example create different packages for the different people that want more customization not everybody will want the same levels have a look at fiverr how they do it on fiverr like they have most of the services have the basic uh intermediate and professional different packages that offer more things the higher uh, the higher you go the uh, professional offers the most things and the basic offers the least amount of things uh, this way you can also um not only give more features but you can also give more price uh, price points for people to to pick and choose so if you package it up like this you can create a funnel where people purchase the exact package that you're that you're selling and it's kind of an automatic way of selling your services on internet so um definitely funnels i would never sell my me personally knowing what i know right now i would never sell services in a shop in a shop like an e-commerce store type of way because it's just it's just not allowing you to customize the offer do different packages on one page and it's like it's much better to create a funnel for that there are already some funnels for us uh like there is a there is a funnel template i believe for an agency so you can have a look at that um let me see so funnel funnels on here and live webinar template there is aco agency booking funnel okay so this is is a booking funnel but you can create an aco agency you use the first first page but then you actually create multiple different uh different offers in there um i don't know if we have that one i don't think that we have any that has these multiple different offers maybe single page templates let me just have a look chiropractor consultation page um t -t -t. I don't know, maybe this barbershop ah oh, yeah they, they also go with a pick a date and the, like a it's a booking type of thing but if you actually create pre-made packages for them they can just purchase right there they can pay right there and you're done they can just go and collect their their things i don't really like booking booking funnels it's just extra extra steps um the least amount of of contact opportunities you have with a customer the the happier you are the happier they are so I don't know book publishing agency preview. Yeah, they also work with book a call option. So yeah, you'll probably need to create a price. Um, we have these blocks already, like a pricing blocks, where we where we do this. So 
there is a the basic package a pro a medium package and a pro package of for example which looks like this so mm -hmm. you offer three versions and then people can buy it immediately on the page you sell you hook it up with groove sell and you are good to go you can offer upsells and downsells and things like oh, order bumps for example um this is my suggestion to create a funnel and never uh, uh, e-commerce store for a service i went a little bit longer than needed explain a little how to set this all through um i that is kind of a full setup my suggestion is to look into the imperfect action challenge there i kind of explain the system of how to set up a funnel and how to connect everything together and this you can use uh, also in setting up your um, services offers on, on funnels could i let go convert kit and click funnels at this time um it depends what features you would like at this moment you can create your pages in groove pages you can create your uh your memberships and things like that at this moment we halted the sending of emails so you may want to hold on to convert it right now we don't offer the importing of of uh, lists at this moment but as i as i mentioned diane you can have a look at the schedule page on the infographic there um for when these things are going to be coming out um also just to mention the infographic page is just the target dates they may shift a little bit but not too much uh so that you can kind of plan ahead at this moment if you it depends if it is if you're in the launch phase or if you're in a like a, if people are buying from you a lot i don't suggest you move anything or like you don't touch those at this moment but you start slowly developing everything over here on groove uh and then once the like the timeout phase comes like the quiet uh, quiet phase comes uh, in your business then you may just want to to shift over and then just uh, start using groove it's going to be cheaper for you most probably but you need to may you need to be uh, also aware that groove is still in beta we we add on a lot of new features that sometimes uh, break how those features how other features work so uh, you need to be careful you need to be aware of that we are when something breaks we are going to fix it uh, as soon as possible but things will break when we're developing that heavily i'm assuming cloning a page is advised but it is advised to clone but is it advised to clone multiple pages one of my clone pages has disappeared. I try save the what I had to log out and come back, but it will not save. And now I'm getting a page already exists pop up. Uh, Chris, this needs to be looked into. I'm not able to do that, so please reach out to the support team so they can actually have a look at this moment. I'm, I'm I, I wouldn't be able to assist with this because when I'm using the banner page, it is not showing there due to some reason. I don't know who this is for, Jay, but if you have a question, feel free to ask. Jimmy is asking, I want to know exactly when this is going to be full functioning program. Have have you have liked if I told you my money would be all set in December 21 and then really unhappy to wait on, until that December to tell you, oh, wait, I'll get you your money in April maybe. Uh, Jimmy, the the platform is developing. We we always promoted it as as a beta platform, and the things that we planned at the beginning, you're getting like quite a lot more than what was planned. So at this moment, uh, creating anything takes time, and you purchased in as a beta user where we where we try to build with our users in mind. So this is why we have a feedback portal where when you report the bugs, we can fix it, where you request a feature, we can add it on. So basically you have the platform that you always wanted to have that was almost kind of built for you, not only for you, but for Diane, for Amy, for uh, Ron, for everybody else. Um, this takes time. There is a similar platform that was developed. It's called Kartra. This was a platform that Mike and Donna and the team worked on before. Um, that platform was developed eight years before it went public. Eight years. I know that it may be a bit 
uh, long for you when you invested your money and you you don't want to start using something in in beta phase but i can tell you right now groove is completely run on groove okay so groove like our company is using only groove for the sales processes for the, for the pages for the offers for everything okay um there's a lot of other users and some of them are right here on this uh, on this call right now that are that are that are selling their products already that are having huge success with it so i believe it's just that you're waiting for everything to be complete so that you can jump into it i don't think you should wait like that because um the platform is good already to be used okay and this is why a lot of people are actually transferring over right now when you're waiting for something to be the perfect time it perfect time never comes this is like my sister uh i was talking with my sister and and before i got my son like are you ready do you think this is the perfect time and i was like it's never the perfect time to have a child or, or start a business or do something but it's just you'd have to decide to do it and then you do it and then you're committed if you actually commit to use groove right now you can do it it's just if you change your mindset i know where you're came, coming from you invested a lot of money but if you wouldn't have invested a lot of money, you would pay a lot more later on for platforms like ClickFunnels and other stuff. So Jimmy, it's an investment. You have to look at it as an investment. If you want to use your investment already, you can. If you don't want to use it yet, you don't have to. That's your option. But uh, in my opinion, it's already good enough and it's it's good enough for other users that are running already their businesses successfully using it. So it's just a matter of, matter of thinking jimmy uh feel free to to ask any questions uh if you need help like if you want me to point you in the right direction how to go and where to start and things like that i'm happy to do so but at this moment it's just it's just your thinking i believe that needs to change the platform is good enough to already run businesses on there what are uh, going to be the next pushes for group member or what are planned features for the new next few updates great question i love these questions um we are working on a, the first thing that we are working on right now is also connected to the mobile responsiveness for groove member and i also talked about it already the thing that we are working on is to make it fast so whenever you click on something you don't have to wait for that loading loading so that it actually shows up a page for example you're on the lesson number one post and you want to go to lesson number two you click lesson number two and it loads and loads and loads and loads so this is what we are working on right now when you click on lesson two it immediately shows up it, it will be very very fast so that's the that's the first thing that we are working on right now and this is the first thing that will come out second thing with the speed um improvements we are going to be working on mobile responsiveness and this goes hand in hand so we need to force uh, we need to fix our infrastructure first so that when you actually can look at it on a mobile properly then it actually loads fast um that's the second phase third phase we are working on basically a big change is going to come to groove member very soon we are going to be um changing completely we are removing the wizard like step one design type or step one information uh, add your membership name add your membership description a url things like that and then step two step three step four step five so we're re removing the wizard and we are going to just have a builder and you do everything within the builder like in groove pages you will have a sidebar where you will have also some of the settings uh, you will have access levels you will have everything within that that builder in there right uh available in one screen um after that there is going to be improvements on 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 different templates and color options and things like that but just in the in the near future these are the plans oh uh, Christian, um, are you able to allow free users to edit my page for me or send funnels that they made? Um, you can, uh, so free users can um, can create share funnels so, or share sites. So in case they create um, a design, you can have them send it over. They can create, I believe, only five though. Um, let me just double check so let me show you where you can get that information if you go on to 
groovefunnels.com forward slash infographic you can have a look at this infographic infographic sorry packages groovefunnels.com forward slash packages here you can see uh, Groove pages on the free and the lifetime, and here share funnels. Okay, so a free account can have one share funnels and an unlimited uh, number of share funnels on a lifetime account. Um, if somebody's on a free account, they can receive five share funnels, and then on your lifetime account, you can unlimited you can have unlimited share funnels imported into your um, into your Groove pages account. So. Yeah, that's kind of it. Um, hopefully that answers your question. I deleted my about page as I wanted to start over by cloning a page. Now my new one will not show up, so I've cloned. Uh, so I've gone back to the version I before I deleted it. Um, deleting the pages is not adding into the revisions. The revisions are displaying. Uh, the changes you made on the canvas, but it's not a settings of the pages, so that's not going to be changed. It shows in the preview, but when I select the version of the about page, is not isn't there. And so that's kind of expected. The revisions are actually changes that happen on the canvas. They are not changing. They're not bringing back deleted pages. I wanted to start a new Groove page, and it asked me if I wanted to create a site, a funnel, or something else. What should I think about when co what should I think about there when co causing that? I don't understand your question. So you can create multiple different assets with groove pages. You can create landing pages, opt-in pages, bridge pages, you can create uh, full-on websites, and you can create uh, different funnels. You can create all three on the same site. So when you create a site from here, So you go into Groove Pages, and once you create a site, this is going to be a house, a kind of a box for your website pages, for your funnel pages, for your landing pages, for everything. This is going to be one kind of a brand project, okay? Here you can choose templates for complete sites, for funnels as well, or for single pages. So you need to kind of know what you're trying to do uh, if you just don't know yet you can always start from scratch uh, using a blank template but um, try to figure out what you're trying to create first and then and then pick a template and then build on top of that Um, is there a Chatmatic offer for 499 unlimited available to Groove members at all time? Do you have an insight on when it may change in Groove purchase from Chatmatic? Uh, Chatmatic is never going to be a part of Groove Funnels. So Groove Funnels is a is a software package that we are selling, and it's not going to include Chatmatic. It's never going to include Chatmatic. This is just a separate a separate product completely. It's like um, when Microsoft has Windows. And Microsoft has also the Office suite of tools. You never, you are not going to receive it automatically in there. When you have Windows, when you purchase Windows, um, you're going to get a trial offer of Microsoft Office, and that's what we are actually doing as well. Uh, Chatmatic, you can have on a trial uh, trial basis. If you would like to have like a full uh, platform, then you can uh, you can upgrade and you can have Chatmatic on a like the full version of Chatmatic. But if you if you're looking as a as a lifetime member of Groove, if you're trying to purchase uh, Chatmatic also on a discount, that's not going to happen. It's just a completely different offer. Um, I'm a newbie. I want to start a website. What can I get recommended for? I suggest looking into into different training videos. Um, there is a training video for which said which is uh, Groove Pages for complete beginners. You can have a look at that. This will uh, this will show you the options that you can uh, uh, you can choose in order to modify uh, templates and also in order to create your own websites. There are also tutorials on how to create websites 
with groove pages so just try to use the search functionality either on youtube or google or anywhere uh, in order to find relevant information or training for that and that's basically what i suggest so just try to understand what you're creating if it is a website what kind of pages would that website have when you understand that when you know that um, then you can just jump into the to the builder and start and start creating the design for those pages also i know i may gripe at times but i have never once regretted investing in groove i am the same i to to be honest i have to purchase uh, i had to purchase groove i'm i'm one of those employees that one of the only ones probably that had to purchase groove uh, because i was just a customer as 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 you um and i i purchased groove and this is how i i got into to using it more and more and this is how i became a part of the team so i purchased groove and i never regretted any decision that i did in, in with groove because i just purchased a product that was super early i knew that there was going to be a lot of development but now that i see that the team and the vision is is much much bigger than it was previously. Um, I didn't know about GroovePay when I purchased Groove uh, Groove Funnels. I didn't know about Groove Cell Payments. I didn't know about uh, about the different affiliate systems that I will be able to uh, set up. I didn't know about Butterfly Marketing. These are only available within Groove, and no other platform can do it. Um, I didn't know about the different marketplaces that we will have. Did you know that Groove will have its own Fiverr, like a, a services marketplace? Did you know that Groove has its own ClickBank type of marketplace, which I can show you right now immediately. Uh, if you go into apps over here, if you go to marketplace if you click affiliate marketplace we have our own marketplace already up and running and you can have your own product already sold in this marketplace i'm going to do a full-on announcement we are adding on a couple of features in here but this is how it looks like you can change uh, on a list or you can have it in in like the, these little cards but you can have a look at these offers so each and every one of these is a product that uh that the customer in groove created and they are selling so they are allowing you to sell uh, their own products for example black woman confidential voices in case you would like to join the program just click to join the program button in case you would like to see the offer click here to see the offer there you go this is this was created as a product within groove and you can become um uh, a salesperson you can sell this product yourself in case you want click join product you can see affiliate earning per clip uh, earning per click conversions refunds um, and things like you can have a look at everything in here and it's it's just like no no other platform that has a page builder that sells products like these that is planning of webinar software has these types of things we're going to have a marketplace for services we're going to have a marketplace for selling your own templates and funnels we're going to have a webinar marketplace you can create a webinar and you can you can share it in this type of a layout where uh, people will either promote your webinar or can join your webinar from a marketplace so it's it's going to be awesome and, and this is this is not planned by anyone and when i purchased groove i never i didn't know about these features you're getting so much more and i have never regretted any decision that when when i when i invested into groove so big big things ahead um thamiris uh, very interesting name I've been able to I've been trying to use Ali Connect, uh, but it doesn't work. When I go to AliExpress and try searching for a product, I keep on uh, being taken back to AliExpress homepage. Is the app broken? I don't think the the Ali Connect app is broken. I believe some of the other apps are conflicting with uh, with the Ali Connect app. Try to activate the Ali Connect app in an incognito window. Let me show you how you would do it. So in case you go to incognito window okay let me just zoom in so here you can click on the on the different apps manage extensions and i cannot show it to you right now maybe like this here in the manage extensions you can go into the details of each and every extension and then you can choose allow in incognito okay so if you allow the ali connect app in incognito it will show up whenever you're in incognito and try to test it that way because i believe there's a conflict between different um 
different Chrome extensions. Also, we have added on an update, or we we had an update to the Chrome extension. Um, go into or delete the, the Chrome extension, the old one, go into GrooveCart and just click again that button to install the Chrome extension. That is going to be the new one that is going to be in, installed and that will probably work also better than the previous one. Um, how can I share a funnel? I actually shared it earlier. Like you go into your design, upper right hand side corner, hamburger menu, share. That's it. Um, is GrooveCart fully functional for me to start dropshipping? Yes. It's not fully functional. Nothing is fully functional. Um, we are still having... Let me show you how GrooveCart um, Trello board for the devs looks like. Um, it's kind of extensive. So this is what is being like here. Pending, confirmed bugs from customers in progress you can have a look this is all in progress completed q a and this is live so a lot of things are happening so if you have a look at these you can understand that it's it's not not fully functional like we have still bugs we have still improvements we'll still have add-ons to to do but it's it's getting developed very very fast and it's getting developed very uh, very heavily uh, but yes, you can start dropshipping with it. Um, don't wait to use group funnels. It's awesome. <laughs> there you go. I agree with you, Dan. I just jumped on, so please forgive me if you already covered this question. Can I use GrooveMail now to collect leads, opt-ins, but I can't use to send emails until April? Uh, or Drone. That's a very interesting name. Uh, yes, that's correct. So at this moment, the Groove Mail sending of emails is halted. Um, in the meantime, we created a lot of extra functionality to it, and it's it's really awesome what Groove Mail can do. Um, but yes, yes, you can you can collect opt-ins. You can also put them in automations to to be added to your membership. You can also send those customers. Uh, after they have been added onto your list in Groove Mail, you can send them over through an automation to your own integration. For example, Mailchimp or Avaber, you can do that already. But at this moment, sending out emails is not um, is not activated right now. Once uh, Groove Mail in April, or at this moment, it's uh, it says also May on the rollout schedule. Um, it will be somewhere at the end of April, I believe, uh, that we will have that feature back. Um, it's going to be coming back more beefed up. Like I'm talking about GrooveMail. GrooveMail is going to be coming back more beef, beefed up and, uh, and better than ever. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, setting up a new website with a custom domain. Do you still recommend setting up Cloudflare or can we skip it these days? Um, you can use Cloudflare if you prefer. You will have some extra options that, uh, that you will not use have when you connect your domain to Groove. For example, Cloudflare doesn't only do domains and doesn't only do CDN. They also have apps, like you can install different apps on your domains and things like that. If It depends what functionality you're looking for. If you just need domain to be hosted to have SSL so that you can connect also your, your other uh, platforms like Groove Blog and Groove Member at a later time to it, you can connect it to Groove. If you want uh, to have more power, you can still uh, you can connect it to to Cloudflare, but it will be it will be a more technical. Uh, it will be a little bit more technical to connect your domain uh, to Groove Blog, Groove Member, and Groove Cart and things like that at a later point. Um, so you can you can decide what you prefer to do. My suggestion, if you already have a domain on Cloudflare, just leave it there for now. If you are starting a new website and you bought a new a new domain and you're starting from scratch, then you can just transfer it over to Groove and handle everything from within there. Um, how many lead pages can you make with a free subscription? You can create three sites. And I showed earlier uh, a site is um, a site is you can consider it as a brand project. A site is this one. So this is one site. This is another site. This is a third site. 
each of these sites can have unlimited number of pages each of these sites can have funnels as well each of these sites can have a lot of different things you can create three sites in case in case you are asking how number of landing pages with the free free account there's no limit to it there are limitations which are these over here so on a free account in group pages you can have three websites which i just mentioned these are the, the three brand projects um, you can have three custom domains connected so each and every one of your brand projects can have a custom domain connected to it uh, you can have one share funnel and you can receive five share funnels and you can import 15 pages with a page importer um, that's about it there is no limit on to the landing page numbers that you can create um, webhooks for Groovecart. there are no news on that one Carlos and unfortunately um, has a simple pretty link URL redirect equivalent made for yet for group funnels pages uh, no we are not going to be doing a pretty link URL redirect because um, you can publish your custom domains and you can create tracking links which is kind of a, um, a link management platform go into groove cell tools tracking links and you can create tracking links for whatever you prefer um, but we are not going to be making pretty links or like a link shortener in groove um <laughs> why my message is not showing up lemon jay your message is not showing up because you are not asking questions uh, you're asking questions like this because when i'm using that banner page is not i don't know what your question is if you ask a question how do i da 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 then i can answer it otherwise i just don't know what you're talking about so i'm just just doesn't matter if i click it or not i don't know how i need to answer it if you have a question please ask a question how do i do 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 um what is a share funnel now this is a question um share funnel is when you created a site or a design or something like that let's just say you created a brand project website which has funnels which has landing pages which has all sorts of stuff and you want to export it and you want to allow maybe a friend of yours or a client or somebody to import that same site that you created uh, into their own account so you can go create a link from that share site or, or share brand project and import the funnels import the pages import the designs and everything with inside their own account so that's a share funnel um what is butterfly marketing butterfly marketing is a sales system which allows you to, so that each and every customer of yours becomes an affiliate as well which is which is great even if they are not a customer let's just say somebody downloads your freebie within your funnel the first step is that you're offering something for free if they fill out the email the name and email you redirect them over to a membership page where uh, you offer them their affiliate link immediately so even if they don't buy they can still promote for you to make money from promoting for you okay so it's like collecting salespeople from each and every person that is interested in anything that you have to do which is which is big um so yeah it's it, it's it's interesting and i definitely uh invite you to check it out if you go onto the groove digital uh facebook group if you type in butterfly marketing okay there is going to be a post from mike here we go mike feels same I highly suggest you to watch this video. What is butterfly marketing? Ba 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 ba. He explains everything and he exactly shows. He draws it out on a piece and uh, on a piece of paper or actually a tablet of how it works. Uh, it is five hundred times. There is five hundred reactions, two hundred comments, uh, and things like that. He explains it really nicely. It was in August twenty twenty, and butterfly marketing is going to or it, it groove is the only platform that can can do butterfly marketing um 
systems and sales and it's just it's just a big deal so highly suggest you to search for butterfly marketing in the in the facebook group have a look at the post from mike feel same and look at the video it's going to explain you everything uh, how advanced can the websites i create be in case i want to create a website for customers sometimes i'm afraid there are limits to what we can do for example database um I don't know what exactly you mean database um if you if you give me an exact scenario what are you trying to create um just ask them in the community like what do you guys think about this can I create it with Groove or something like that people will be more than happy to help you with it. uh going back to Cloudflare is this not needed anymore if not how do you connect the domain to Groove Luis uh, you can look for connecting a custom domain in the facebook group on youtube there are videos there is a new system for publishing within groove it has been uh, deployed a week ago two weeks ago which is working nicely have a look at the videos they will explain you how to connect it they are also in the help desk right? in case you go to your groove pages you click the publishing help button the videos will show up in the help desk you said that the groove cart is not fully ready for drop shipping. I didn't say that. Can you share with us what's missing or what kind of problem will I encounter? I never said it's not fully ready for drop shipping. You said it's fully functional. I said it's never going to be fully functional. We're always going to be adding on there. And also full functionality depends on what features you want. Okay. So if you're looking for it to, to do things that, I don't know, that some other platforms do, uh with different kind of apps and connections and integrations most probably that is not available but in case you're doing to in case you're doing drop shipping with um, aliexpress for example that you can already do you can also connect drop dropified um which is a paid app you can connect it to to groove cart and, and drop ship through there you can also have slingly you can also have print on demand platforms and you can have all, all sorts of stuff um what I meant in functionality wise, um, it's never going to be finished. There is always going to be things that we are going to be adding and we just don't plan to stop developing it. Is it possible to edit headers on GrooveCart? You can choose different styles of headers. You can you can edit your, your logos, but you cannot um, edit the style of your uh, of your groove cart uh, header that's not an option right now um, i answered this one already why is the scroll bar on the right side so rubbish <laughs> i don't know what i should answer to this one um about the marketplace isn't why isn't my spanish course findable when i released it shouldn't it shouldn't it have been on top when i release it no it's not going on top it's going probably in the back because on the top are the top converting funnels and this is the filtering that is that is in there um this was a couple of weeks ago how can people find it i stopped um it's never going to be showing on top on top is going to be showing the top performing the, the most the highest converting uh funnels and offers uh, when you created a product and you made it available in the marketplace it just needs time to catch up to those uh to those other funnels that are being promoted they are being sold heavily so um you need to work on it try to create a jv page try to invite people try try to get them to promote for you and things like that so that you can actually show up on the first places in the marketplace but it's not a, an instant thing okay ladies and gentlemen we're approaching the two hour mark uh just to let you know one more time we are doing an affiliate contest if you don't know about it we send out an email to every one of you guys um groove affiliate contest they are we are giving away forty thousand dollars in prices if you visit groovejv.com you can have a look at the video that mike did explaining the contest and what we are uh, doing we're going to be doing a live webinar tomorrow uh, at 2 p.m eastern standard time march 10th okay so make sure you are there you can also promote it so in case you have people that haven't upgraded yet and they signed up under your link and they haven't upgraded yet you can give them this link so immediately when you go to groove jb uh, groove jv scroll down to promotion tools 
copy over the the link which says uh, here no BS event Mike Phil Sames webinar the first link copy over the first link and you start promoting it out to those people that uh that upgraded that signed up under you but haven't that haven't purchased the groove um uh, groove program yet um what you're going to see is this page when your uh, customers click on it which invites them to join a webinar so this is the the button you need to click in order to, to fill out your details and this is going to get you to the webinar and in here we're going to be talking about exclusive sneak peeks um how you can automate your business with groove how to use butterfly marketing so in case you're interested into this um make sure you attend reserve your seat just just go there you really don't want to miss it so that's about it ladies and gentlemen thank you very much this has been two hours i uh, i hope i got your questions answers in answered in case i haven't we're going to be doing another session on friday friday is the same time which is uh noon eastern standard time or 6 p.m central european time um you can mark your calendars uh, there will be a scheduled live stream so you can also uh get a reminder on there in case you have any follow-up questions feel free to ask them in the facebook group of groove digital but until the next time thank you very much for being here and i wish you a pleasant rest of the week thank you guys bye bye